Hey guys, today I've got a gate torque for you. Uh, this one's a royal blue, and I know for a fact this person probably got it off lax.com. They had some kind of torque fire sale where Carolina Blue and Royal Blue were 25 bucks for a while, which was a sweet deal. And usually I'm always scalping for deals to try and pick a head up and flip it for a little more if I string and die it, but well, I didn't quite get there in time to get this one, but I'm glad I did get one from somebody else's string. Uh, they went with Royal Blue and Orange, which looks awesome, I think. Royal Blue, Orange, and White Mesh. I always like White Mesh, but colored sidewalls and shooters. Uh, triangle Top String, one nylon, two U's. Uh, it seems to be a common theme in my string request these days. I assume people see my videos and like that setup. That is the, the shooter setup that I recommend generally. If you're looking for something to go with or something new to try, uh, one nylon on the nine diamond row, then a five diamond U, and then a three diamond U. I think it gives good hold, really accentuates the channel. They wanted a mid pocket with a nice channel. Uh, torques are kind of weird, because you can see it's got this inside fin going on in here that I'm not sure what the point of it is. And I, when stringing torques, I usually don't use it. So generally, generally, I just string it to those regular old outside side walls. And they do have something cool in here. They've got these little fins. You can see those right there. They're gonna protect your side walls. Um, I know a lot of people have problems with sidewalls fraying from the ball hitting them. So that's a nice little feature they added. So um, again, just gonna really drive home that point that you do not need a sidewall for a specific head. All you need to know is just basic fundamentals of how to string a lacrosse head. So like all of mine, I'm gonna interlock three times, pulling the mesh down. See, look how tight those holes in mesh are. That's what you wanted. Knots don't create channels. Pulling the mesh down tightly with interlocks or even singles, it doesn't matter, is what creates a channel. And then I'm gonna do a one, start to build that channel out, release a little mesh, a two, then three singles just to finish off the pocket. So you get that nice deep mid shape with that perfect gradual, just a balls with you. Uh, one thing I did not like about the torque is how huge these sidewall holes are. Uh, it's a pain. They did make one a couple tiny ones at the bottom for tying knots off and one tiny one at the top, but I need a lot more mesh holes than that, or a lot more sidewall holes than that. And you can see I did something funky up here with the top string. I've been doing this a lot, is just really locking down that first diamond and the first nine diamond row and the first ten diamond row up there, just wrapping around at least twice, just to keep it nice and tight. That's one thing that's gonna make sure your pocket doesn't loosen over time is knots and pulling things really tight like that. That's gonna create consistency and so your pocket won't change as it breaks in. Uh, so as always, you can send me your head if you want me to string your head at www.eastcoastdies.com. You can order there, send it off to me, string it up, send it right back, or uh, we can dye your head, or remember to check out East Coast Mesh. Um, I've got a playlist on here of East Coast Mesh reviews. Uh, there's a lot of them at this point. People are really liking the way it feels. Uh, I'm coming up with a lot of new dye patterns here for the new year now that school's over, so I'm gonna try and get that going. And um, make sure to check us out on Facebook. Just search East Coast Dyes. And remember to check back for more videos all the time. Thanks.